Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Come on with us to 1 Corinthians 13. Let's talk about love this morning. Let's talk about what love looks like. In the context of the chapter, it's talking about how we need to be loving our brethren and how we need to be treating them and what love looks like. Start at verse 4. It says that love suffers long and is kind. A lot of folks are either no sufferers or they are short sufferers. What love looks like, it looks like long suffering. We need to be patient with our brethren is what we need to do. We need to have endurance, we need to have all those things, but we need to be patient with them. The Lord was patient with us and as we are all growing together, we just need to recognize the need for patience. And while we are being long suffering, we are kind. A lot of folks, uh, they kind of claim to be long suffering, but they do a whole lot of murmuring and a whole lot of griping. We need to be kind while we are being long suffering. Our verse goes on and it says that love does not envy, love does not parade itself. Love does not say, look at me and look at what I have done. It simply doesn't do it. That is not how we treat our brethren. Because what that is, as the verse goes on, it says that love is not puffed up. When we say, look at me and what I have done, what that is, is that is pride rearing its head. The verse goes on, it says that love does not behave rudely. I wanted you to just think about, um, hopefully you're familiar with the letter to the Corinthians, both of them. Um, but it was such a mess there. It, it really was a mess. And, and the, the King James Version says it does not behave unseemly. We need to remember that we are the bride of Christ. And we are the body of Christ. And we, we need to treat one another uh, as we would want to be treated ourselves. We need to be esteeming others. Uh, better than ourselves might think about that in the next one it goes on it says that love does not seek its own a lot of folks they get it in their head um, some course of action and it becomes it's either my way or the highway and when they say the highway what they mean is either you hit the highway or they hit the highway what love is love is easily entreatable that is what love does and that is what love looks like King, or pardon me, the book of James talks about being willing to yield. And there's, a, there's an element of that that it's, I think it's talking about how we treat one another. Um, certainly we are not willing to yield to sin, um, but we need to recognize that there are liberties and we need to understand that we don't have to always get our way. That love does not seek its own. It is not provoked as the verse goes on. And, and that's really where where a lot of folks have trouble. What do we do when our brethren are not loving us like they should? Are we going to be easily provoked? Are we going to lose our temper? Are we going to lose our self-control? Are we going to behave rudely? Are we going to say something that we should not and justify it because we say, well, they made me say that? No, love is not easily provoked. It thinks no evil. That phrase there in verse 5, what that literally means is it keeps no accounts of evil. If you are keeping score, then something is very wrong, and the problem is a lack of love. You might think about it and read on in the chapter. I hope you enjoyed this study. I hope you have a good weekend. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We will see you Monday morning.